OK, so let's say I want to solve the equation sine x equals a half between 0 and 360 degrees. It is imperative that with all these examples that you sketch a graph of the function. OK, now because it's sine, I sketch sine, funnily enough. So quick sketch of sine. It doesn't need to be pretty. Sine x equals a half. Now, because the sine curve goes up to 1, a half will be a horizontal line, and you can see that it's going to cross the sine curve twice between 0 and 360 degrees. OK, so that means that there are two solutions. Now, the first solution is found by inverse signing both sides. OK, so inverse sine of a half gets you 30 degrees. So this first solution there is 30. Now, the second solution, because the graph is symmetric, OK, you can see that the curve is symmetric about the 90 degrees part there. OK, so this part here is precisely the same length as that part there. So because that's 30 degrees away from 0, this is 30 degrees away from 180. So the second solution is found by subtracting 30 degrees from 180. And so the second solution is 150. So there are two solutions to this problem, 30 degrees and 150 degrees. And we can put our solutions into these curvy, curly brackets, OK, so that you're grouping the solutions together.